I give a, I gotta give a, a plug real quick to my boy, Mr. Malcolm. He the other half of Travel Gang, but he in Milwaukee. He'll be back out in LV soon. Shout out, Mr. Malcolm. He a beast. Shout out the whole LV. We got love for y'all. Everybody keep doing your thing. Bless up. Uh, but I never started writing or taking music really seriously until about three years ago when I actually met Sinocious. We connected through music, and I just kind of realized I wanted to start pursuing music and taking it seriously. So, um, yeah, the first night we met, we actually wrote a, a song together, and yeah, yeah, yeah. we've been vibing ever since. Vibing ever since. Man, and that's yeah, a love yeah. story. Yeah. That's yeah. beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Some hallmarks. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's crazy because a lot of people I had, you know, maybe previously dated in my life, like not anybody ever did music, so it was always different. Like when you date somebody that kind of has the same passion as you, like whether it's content creating or music, whatever, like it... It's really it makes it so much better, you know what I mean? Because yeah. you you're more understanding of each yeah. other's hustle. Constantly well, you bar. understand the lifestyle. Yeah, you understand the lifestyle. You're always hustling, yeah. you're making music. You doing any of this? You always gonna be hustling, and people don't understand that. Yeah. <laughs> like, and no matter what you do, like it's hard to understand outside of. But especially musicians, because you travel, you work, studio long hours, weird hours yeah. too. Like musicians don't work a nine to five job. It's like that. Yeah. Four o'clock in the morning, you in the studio. Yeah, like, you gotta be, yeah they're like, yeah, right. You're yeah. not in the studio. You your own boss. Yeah. Like, no, I really you am. Your own boss. Yeah, you really am. I really am. You really your own am. boss. You gotta grind. You gotta. You can't. You gotta push yourself harder than if you have a job as an employee, because no one's gonna push for you but you. And you never know when that moment that's gonna hit that you're like, man, I got a song right now. So that's you exactly, like, yeah. you might wake up. It's four o'clock in the morning. and You start writing, and mm-hmm. instead of it being like a, whoa, what's going on over here? It's like a, oh, you up writing? Like, yeah, that's yeah. a little bit more chill with it. When you got somebody who understands that passion you got, and you need somebody who understands that you might write a song about them, and they can't be mad about it. <laughs> yeah, just see, so, you know, what about you? What'd you get started on? Man, I just been, I came out the womb fly like. <laughs> <laughs> Drop right out and start spitting. I came out of the womb. My mom came out. Like, <laughs> nah, but I mean, I just forever, bro. Like, I just been doing music since I was literally like ten years old. Like, it was just, it was always a part of me, like art, drawing, and, and music, poetry. So I really started with poetry, and then I moved into, um, you know, to rap as I started to love rap. Like we all love it. Yeah. And um, just it's my whole life. It's everything, bro. Like it's all. It's like it's in your spirit. Yeah, you can freestyle. Like yeah, no it's my one passion for real. It's my. It's a part it. of my heart. Like I don't care about the money. I get money all kind of ways. I got businesses and shit. I just care about. I don't care about the fame. I just care about the craft, the art, the content, the music, the spirit, the people on the game. No, I understand that one for sure. And coming out doing the poetry first, that's where you get your best lyricists. Like everything's coming through. They know what they're talking. Deep, yeah. It's all and you can feel understand what you're saying too. Even in your songs you can understand everything you're saying. It's none of that like Yeah. Hubba-da, hubba-da, hubba-da. Yeah, unless I just unless you know, but sometimes you be feeling that way. Sometimes you don't like sometimes hey, you want it to be it. Yeah, sometimes you want it to be articulate and clear, but sometimes you want it to sound like you don't know what you know, I'm just lit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes it don't matter. Like, that's why I appreciate all type of music. Like, you know, I listen to, to the mumble rap, to the straight bars, whatever, like everything in between. I got it. Everything's hitting nowadays, though. But we that's... got your first song coming up here. We got Lil Mama. You want to hey. tell them a little bit about that? Hey, yeah, Lil Mama, yo. It's a, this is a banger. This is like reggae tone trap. Uh, Island Vibes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, recorded with Demir Major. Amazing. She's amazing. Shout out Demir. She got on the... Um, I, you know, I just sent her the beat. I had it for a few months. I had wrote the chorus previously and was like, "Yo, you got to get on this with me." And then we, she wrote a verse in like a few, the like twenty minutes, thirty I've minutes. Yes, yeah, I hadn't back. even wrote my part yet. I don't think you had either. Demir's already sent it to us. She's yeah. like, "I'm done." Yeah, I'm she like, sent Damn. it back. She's ready. So we, you know, we went in the studio and um, when I was actually originally singing part of the chorus, and so was Devin, and then. Uh, I just was just singing horribly that day because I can't sing. And then Demir was like, "Oh, I was like, you should try it." And then um, she hopped in, yeah, and she just—I mean, you hear how it sounds like it's a hit. Like it was she, one of those moments in the studio where you're like, yeah, "Oh my special god, special moment, it. Yeah, yeah, creation, something yeah. we can't control." You know, it's a higher force controlling that. Right. Yeah. Well, y'all getting ready to hear it right here. Make sure you stay in tune. Make sure you go ahead. You know what? What's y'all's Instagram is why you're on here. So I give you a follow. Uh, mine is devontees21. It's D-E-E-V-O-N-T-E-A-S-E 21. We could talk about that story later. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's weird. <laughs> Dang. Are we talking about that? Off the then on the... <laughs> Whoa, nah. Whoa, <laughs> nah. And then uh, at, at Cenosha, C-N-O-T-E-S-H-C-E, you know, or it's travelgang.com. 
And for those of y'all who can't spell, we about to tag them in a post. Right wow. now. Story. Let's go. All the people that can't spell, we got you. We know <laughs> Appreciate y'all. But go ahead and listen to this song. Don't go nowhere. We're going to talk about when we come back from this. Make sure you're staying in here. This is Lil Mama. Hey, Lil Mama. Hey. hey, what up, though? On the gang? What up, though? What up, though? Hey, what up, though? How y'all living out there? Even I can tell that your eyes are on me. Oh, Baby, man. when I dip, you dip. Call me like a spliff. Now put it on your lips. Mama, lay your body too cold. Is the way you move it slow in this party? I like your style. I'ma order another round and let me break this purple down on your body. Hey, 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 little mama, lay your body too cold. Is the way you move it slow in this party? I like your style. I'ma order another round and let me break this purple down on your body. And we can roll another one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait until you take it in this. Wait until you take it a this way, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait until you take it a this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait until you take it a.